hello youtube this is Naran and today i will be showing you how to use javascript in jsp to get the data mostly jsp is mostly javascript is used for client side validation this coding we have done in the earlier tutorial so let's begin to add javascript in this tutorial so javascript code are placed in the header section so let me start the coding script type equals to text slash javascript let me close this and we have to define function let me write the name of function validate and we have to declare variable for username and password variable you name equals to we have to get the user typed information in this variable document dot name of our form is my form dot username dot value this will store the user typed information in the variable username you name so we have to check condition now if you name equals to equals to empty then we have to display alert message alert user please please enter username then we have to focus on the text box document dot my form dot username dot focus so this will focus on the username then return false okay let me check another condition also for username if u dot length is less than 5 let me put it in double bracket or u name dot length is greater than 15 then we have to display the message place a bracket over here also alert is of invalid length so let me copy and paste this to, to focus and return false so we have completed for username now let me write the code for password so let me copy this up to here and paste it here so in, let me define variable password document dot my form dot password if password equals to equals to empty please enter password document dot my form dot password dot focus return false then after let me check another condition also if sorry else if password dot length is less than 7 or password dot length is greater than 15 I forgot to provide the bracket close the bracket again then alert password should 
the between 7 and 15 character let me close this one and let me copy and paste this to focus also we have to check for illegal character also so let me define variable illegal character equals to forward slash big packet backward slash w underscore big packet close and forward slash this will check for a special character else if equal character dot test password if password contain individual character we have to display alert message password contains legal character so this message will be displayed and let me paste again this code to focus so the code is complete now I made a spelling mistake over there legal character so the code is completed so this validation is performed when we pressed the sign in button so we have to write the code on click on the sign in button on on click equals to return validate that is name of our function so in the previous tutorial i have provided the input type text for password let it be password so that will not be displayed and in custom css also i have written in border two pixel solid solid bold in the previous tutorial make it black so let me show you the code once again from the beginning We have taken the username and variable and check whether the user type in the information if he did not type and press the sign in button we have to display the alert message and length is checked similarly in password same thing is checked and in password we have checked for illegal character also so let me run this project once let me press the sign in button please enter username okay i will enter less username less character username is of invalid length okay let me type more information more data in username again it shows me it is of invalid length let me provide limited data okay it asks me about the password let me type some illegal character and password it says me password contain illegal character okay the javascript work for this project so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel i'll post more videos so thanks for watching